So we're just gonna guess and we're gonna taste test. Hi, hello, and welcome to today's video. My name is Courtney. If this is the first video that you are joining for, welcome. If not, welcome back. And either way, buckle up, sit back, and relax because we're gonna take a little trip to Canada today. So this is actually not my first trip to Canada via YouTube. Um, if you are interested after this video, I have two other, I think two other, Canadian taste testings. One of my very best friends happens to hail from the land of Canada, and she is so generous as to occasionally bring back a bunch of fun snacks and candy for myself to taste test. And so unfortunately, she could not be here today to taste test it with me, but if you check out the other ones that I have done, she has done both with me, and we have already made plans to do another one of these sometime soon. So without further ado, let's get into the things that she picked up for me from Canada. All right, I've got two bags of potato chips and four different chocolate items, so I think we're going to start with the chip, do all of the chocolate stuff, and finish with the chip. I feel like it sounds like a good plan. All right, so we are going to start with this brand called Covered Bridge, and these are creamy dill pickle potato chips, and it says that they are dark russet potato chips. Okay, first off, this smell is incredible. Second off, like almost all of these chips are massive. Like this is the size of the average chip in this bag. I'm going to eat this one though. Um, okay, yeah, so these are delicious. They are crunchy, they're salty, they're pickly, the flavor is delicious, the texture is perfect. I'm gonna go nine out of 10, um, only because there are some that are a little more, a lot of them are a little more cooked than I would like, like they're a little crispier and crunchier than I would like. I wish they were a little more airy, if that makes sense. Like a There's a fine line between the perfect, like, crunchy, crispy, airy potato chip. And so that's the only reason it's getting a nine and not a 10, but these are fantastic and we are starting out strong. Okay, so heading into our first chocolate item, we're gonna go something Cadbury. And um, yes, this does say dairy milk mini eggs. So yes, this definitely came out around Easter time. And that is how long I've been holding on to these items and finally had to say, I'm just gonna film this taste testing and we can do another one soon. Um, but I'm also not gonna not try this. So, like I said, Cadbury Dairy Milk Mini Eggs. Milk chocolate with Cadbury Mini Eggs candy. And I don't really care what time of year it is. I love me a good Cadbury egg, so like, Yeah, that is really fun. It, it takes their normal milk chocolate and amps it up to a totally different level because you get the texture of the shell of the Cadbury egg on the inside. So I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Reason being it is at the end of the day still a chocolate bar and I don't like, there's not often that I'm going to just go for a plain chocolate bar other than when I'm making a s'more. However, I think that this can make one of the most fun, interesting s'mores I've ever tried. So I've been toying with the idea of doing a video on this channel where we mess around with different s'mores. Like we try different things as the crackers, we try different things as the chocolate items. So like I'm kind of thinking this could be fun to try as one of the chocolate items if you would be interested in that. Like if you think we should make that video and by we I mean Alex and I and her boyfriend, um, let me know because if it's wanted, we will. Okay, so the next chocolate item I am very excited to try because I have actually tried this before, but I only tried it in the mini version. So this is a coffee crisp, but this is the double double version, which I have to assume refers to the size because the last time I tried one, it was a tiny little chocolate bar like you might get on Halloween for trick or treating, whereas this is like a full size candy bar so I'm very excited to try this I also know that I was recommended to put it I think in the fridge or freezer one of the two and eat it that way so afterwards I'm gonna try this now and then afterwards this is where that's going all 
I almost asked my friend Marta why she got me this when we have tried it before. And I taste testing and I saw the double double and I was like, okay, it's probably at least a little different. I understand why she got me this. It is, it's not so different that you feel like you're eating something totally different, but it's like for the same reason that Reese's does a bunch of different versions of their products. It's why they have like their, their cups and their fast breaks and their big cups and their this and their that because this is different to the smaller one that I had. The texture is different. You get more of the wafer crisp than you do of the chocolate. Like there's a higher chocolate to wafer crisp ratio on the smaller ones and slightly less chocolate to wafer ratio on this one, at least from what I recall. And I like this one a lot better only because I love wafers and stuff like that. This gets a 10 out of 10. It's chocolate, it's wafers, it's coffee, it's delicious. Okay, so this next one very much appeals to me and I'm very excited to try this. They are called Celebration Butter Cookies. This is this strawberry and cream truffle. I say that as if I like know that there's other flavors, but I actually don't know if there's other flavors. I'm just kind of guessing that there might be. I don't, I don't, I don't know. If, if Marta were here, she could tell me, but she's not. So we're just gonna guess and we're gonna taste test. They smell like a chocolate covered strawberry. These are absolutely everything. Yes, the shortbread cookie is delicious. It's crispy, it's crunchy, it's thick. The chocolate layer has like this perfect shell. The raspberry layer is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go, I'm sorry, strawberry layer. I'm gonna go 10 out of 10. These are so good. Like if you like a good shortbread chocolate strawberry situation, like if that sounds good to you, you're probably going to love these. These are delicious. All right, the final chocolate item, but not the final item in this video, so don't leave here yet. These are Caramel Crisp Kit Kats. I also think it's really interesting the way that it's sold in a big packaging like this. And like, I can feel it. I can tell the bars are like, you know, this in the package. Um, and I think it's really interesting because they do not sell Kit Kats like this here in the States. If you didn't understand what I meant by this, this is what I meant. Oh my God, this smells incredible. Wow, okay. So first off, the chocolate itself is different. It tastes different. It's most definitely a different kind of milk chocolate than what they use in the United States. It's also a much larger chocolate to wafer ratio. The layer of chocolate around it is much thicker, but the flavor is really good. There's like these little crunchies mixed in with the layer of chocolate around it. Maybe that's why it's a thicker layer because that has a really fun texture. And I mean, just because the, hello silly, just because the milk chocolate is a different milk chocolate, it's not bad, it's still a good milk chocolate. The crunchies are fun, you get a caramel flavor from the inside. I'm gonna have to go a seven out of 10, only because I personally prefer the ratio of the normal Kit Kat where it's a slightly less chocolate um, and more wafer texture and flavor wise. And then I also like the chocolate that is used here in the United States as opposed to Canada better, if I'm being honest. So yeah, they're still really good. I just, I think I prefer United States Kit Kats, sorry. Okay, last up, but obviously not least because I actually feel like I haven't mentioned this in a little bit. Um, so if you know this and you're not like, on the newer side here, thank you. But either way, also, just like, thank you for being here. But um, I'm personally a very save the best for last kind of person. So when it comes to these taste test things, I try and save what I'm hoping is the best for last. And so when I film these with Alex, we put them in order the same way where we leave the final item or two to be the things that, you know, we're most excited to try at the end. Um, so today we are finishing off with the brand is President's Choice. And these are World of Flavors Nashville Hot um, Potato Chips. And I'm very excited. 
Okay, is it like a thing in Canada for the size of the chips to be massive? Because like even these chips are also all freaking massive. Not that I'm complaining, it's just interesting because you don't see that, or at least I'm not used to seeing that. Okay, on the back it says, Bold and spicy Nashville style, these crunchy rippled chips deliver explosive heat, tasty tanginess, and just a touch of sweetness. And I actually think their description does a bang up job of describing these. They are most definitely hot and spicy, but you get a lot of really good flavor from them. The perfect amount of saltiness, a tiny hint of sweetness. I personally I just started really getting into enjoying spicy things within the past like couple of years. So I know I'm still not, I'm still at a rather beginner's kind of level when it comes to spice. So I'm gonna give these a nine out of 10 because I know that for what these are, these are delicious. If you like spicy things, which let's be real, Nashville hot, like we know we're going into something spicy here. These are fantastic. The flavor is so good. I am definitely salivating. My lips are a little tingly, but like it, these are fantastic. So I am very curious of everything that I have tried today. What appeals to you most? Like, have you tried any of the things that I've tried today? Would you try them? Is there anything you like really want to try now after watching this? I'm very, very curious as to what you think. So pretty please let me know in the comments. But with all of that being said, that brings us to the end of today's video. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you were to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, you simultaneously help yourself stick around for the next video, but you also help to support the channel, which I obviously massively appreciate. So I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.